Hey everyone, welcome to Consult the Blind Guy. This is the fifth episode of 10 Common and Crazy Questions People Ask the Blind. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you're returning to the channel, thank you and welcome back. Let's get into this episode. Disappointed by reality, trying to come back, start something new, build up yourself, it's all to you. Stay strong no matter what they say, you keep getting better every day. Hold your head up, never gonna stop, fears and proud, stand up and shout. Stand to my ground. Number one, what is the political correct term for blind? Um... You just said it. Blind. Two. Do you feel like you relate differently to people because you are blind? In a sense, yes. It is a little bit different to relate to people in some aspects. Because, well, you all can see a hell of a lot better than I can. So, in that aspect, it is a little bit, but not really. The only difference is visual impairment. Number three, how are you so brave? Um, I don't really think that it's brave. It's that we have to live outside of our comfort zone on a regular basis. Nothing's ever the same. Everything's always different. Even a daily routine will still have a lot of differences in it. So I don't think that it's just bravely. It's the ability to adapt. Number four. My son or daughter's cousin is blind. Do you know them? Um, no. Though we may know different blind people doesn't mean we know all blind people. Number five, do blind people completely trust their guide dog? I don't have one, but I would assume that yes, 99.99% of the time that every blind person is going to trust their animal that has been trained over a sighted person any day. Number six, what kind of assistive technology do blind people use? And that's a good question. In fact, um, at this particular moment, I have my computer acting as a teleprompter for me. And I have the high contrast setting. So my entire screen is black. And the letters are white. And that way I can see it in big print. Another good thing is the voice activated assistant that I also have on my computer. It's a lot like Google or Alexa. You have the ability to get audiobooks from the Library of Congress or your local library. You can um, get downloadable apps for your smartphone or tablet in which they can do audiobook as well as visual assist such as like uh, one app is Be My Eyes and you can contact a volunteer on there and they will be your assistant that is cited to be able to read something or look off in the distance to tell you where you are in reference in a park to a bench or whether you're going grocery shopping and need somebody to read a label. They also have the Envision AI app which is able to read documents. Um, once it's programmed you can have it recognize relatives and friends faces. Uh, it can read barcodes, um, read full paragraphs, sentences, word by word or letter by letter. It, there's a lot of assistive technology for visually impaired and blind. Number seven, do blind people have sensation of light or color? And yes, it depends on the level of 
blindness, but in most cases, 85% of blind people have some sensation of light and or color. Number eight, do you work? Can you work? Or why don't you work? I myself do not work because unfortunately in the blind community we are not chosen for employment at near any rate compared to those that are cited. Simply because the employers believe because we cannot see that we are 100% incapable of doing the job. There are a few organizations that have been founded in the past few years that are actually working with Fortune 500 companies and other small businesses and foundations and organizations to alleviate this stigma within society to help those that are blind to become employed individuals again. Number nine, do you go grocery shopping? Yes, we go grocery shopping. Um, at this moment, myself, I have the ability to use my smartphone or push the label right up into my face in order to, to be able to read small print. But I prefer to use the assistive stuff if it's at all possible. Number 10. Do you drive? No, I do not drive anymore. I really honestly only drove for a total of uh, about seven years between the ages of 17 and 24. And after that, I gave up my driver's license. The whole reason I even accomplished getting my driver's license is because I was told by many relatives that I was not going to accomplish getting it in the first place. And them being negative and downgrading me on a lot of different things in life made my determination that much more stronger to prove them wrong. But no, I do not drive anymore. I do miss it, however. Thank you for watching Consult the Blind Guy. Don't forget to give a like if you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe so you can stay updated on all the latest videos, contests, and giveaways held here on Consult the Blind Guy. And we'll see you next time.